Hello, and welcome to the St. Louis Children's Hospital Exercise Physiology Lab. The following short video will demonstrate what a typical exercise stress test looks like. An exercise stress test is a non-invasive test performed on both adults and children. The test is also referred to as a cardiopulmonary exercise test, CPET, stress test, or exercise physiology test. An exercise stress test may be performed to help determine how well your body functions under the stress of an exercise. This test may help your doctor understand where to target medical therapies or determine if a surgery or catheterization intervention is needed. A well-performed exercise stress test can also assess your heart rate and rhythm during exercise to make sure you are safe to return to sports and activities. To prepare for this, Patients are asked to avoid vigorous physical activity 24 hours before testing. Also, avoid a large meal two hours prior to testing. Eating a light snack if needed and drinking water is okay. Make sure to take all prescribed medications unless advised otherwise. It is also important that patients come dressed appropriately for the test, wearing comfortable exercise clothes and closed-toed athletic shoes. Arriving with inappropriate footwear may result in the test being rescheduled. The Exercise Physiology Lab is located in the heart station on the second floor of St. Louis Children's Hospital. After passing the security desk, take a left down the second hallway. The heart station is located towards the end of the hall on the right. After you arrive at the heart station, you will be greeted and checked in at the front desk. When the room is prepared and ready, Patients are escorted to the exercise lab by a staff member who will be performing the test. Family members are allowed to join and watch if they would like. The test will be performed on either a treadmill or a stationary bike. You will have as much time as you need to familiarize yourself with the equipment. Whether the test is performed on the treadmill or the bike, the exercise will start easy and gradually get harder. There is nothing painful about the test, but the best results are obtained if you give us your best effort, which means exercising until you are very tired. The test begins with the patient lying comfortably on the exam table while the technician places ECG stickers on the front of the chest and abdomen and connecting the ECG leads. The ECG is worn around the waist like a belt during the test. Before exercising begins, the technician will obtain blood pressures while both lying down and standing up. Now let us show you what the test may look like. If the test is being performed on the treadmill, the test will start with an easy walk. You will be allowed to hold on to the front handlebar for stability. As the test continues, the treadmill will gradually get faster and steeper until the test is stopped. If the test is being performed with metabolic analysis, the patient will also have a face mask. This measures how much oxygen the patient is breathing in and how much carbon dioxide the patient is breathing out. How are you doing, bud? The test will continue as previously demonstrated. The test may also be performed on the stationary bike. Similar to the treadmill, the bike will start very easy and gradually get harder to pedal until you can no longer continue. This test could also be performed with or without metabolic data being collected using the face mask. How are you feeling? During the test, there is constant communication with the technician regarding any discomfort or symptoms the patient may be having. Patients are encouraged to perform their best even when becoming tired. However, the technician will stop the test if there are any concerning findings that may affect safety. The test will gather lots of important information including heart rate, heart rhythm, blood pressure, breathing changes, and metabolic measurements. The data will be analyzed thoroughly and a report will be sent to the ordering physician. When the exercise is over, patients will have a chance to cool down and rest while the test is finishing. After the test is concluded, the electrocardiogram stickers will be removed and when ready, the patient will be dismissed. Thank you for watching this video. We hope this information has been helpful.